hello everyone welcome back to my channel once again okay i'm so happy to be with you once more and thank you very much for stopping by on this channel and if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week so to begin this tutorial i want to let you know that we are making a cape dress okay as you can see on the screen is a cape dress so to begin this tutorial right away of this cape dress this is what you are supposed to have okay this is your body's front and this is the shoulder part of your bodies this is the chest line this is the boss point on the boss point and the waist line okay so if you don't know how to make your bodies, okay, your basic bodies, please I'll drop the link on the description box below. The description box below is just at the right hand side under this video. You will see an arrow pointing downward. Just click on the arrow to the description box. Click on the link below so you can learn how to draft your basic bodies because you need to know your basic bodies before you can follow up this tutorial so the concentration of this tutorial is to make that cape so this is the bodies at which i'm going to build the cape now you can see this is the natural neckline of three inches by three inches i spread out my sheet because of the position of the button so the button is on the from the center front away before the the boss point line okay that is the boss pan line so this line you are seeing here is the position of my nipple to nipple called the boss pan so this is the nipple or boss point and this is the boss point and you can see it there on the bodies so right now the first thing i want to do now is to tighten my under boss but before i do that please i want to show you the position of this button so this is the center front can you see i'll just use some strokes to indicate the center front okay so you can see that button the button you are seeing there is not at the center front the button moved away by two inches okay two inches away so i'll be marking two inches away for the position of the button so this is the button position two inches away from the center front and i'll take it all the way to this point so i'll be drawing the button this will help me know that this is the point at which the button is going to sit you can see that so now the next thing I want to do now, I want to focus on the tightening of the bust. So to tighten the bust, I'm not going to do anything here because this is, I'm going to use only one side of this pattern. I'm going to cut it twice to have what I, I'm going to use for the right hand side. So I'm working only from this part of the bottom. Okay, this is where I am working on this tutorial so now the next thing i'm going to do right away having the position of my button is to tighten this bust and to tighten this bust right now this is my bust pan line and this is my under bust point so at the under bust point by the center front remember this is cf center front so at this point of the center front right away i'm going to come on the bust point line i'm going to come this way by 0 0.5 and i'll come in this way by 1.5 to tighten my bust so but before that i need to divide my shoulder line by two to get the midpoint and this is the midpoint and i'm going to connect the midpoint all the way to the bust point so having done that, because I want to create a princess that at this part, so from the bust point, I'm going to come down by one inch, and from the bust point, I'm going to come up by one inch. So I'm going to connect my, tighten my under bust right now. From this 0 0.5, I'm going to position my ruler 
take note of how i position the ruler this is very important and i flip it this other way okay you can see i've tightened this this part and now i'm going to come in on the waistline by 0 0.5 and i'll come up this way by one inch so i'm going to connect this line and i'm going to connect this to this so this part of the bust of the dart we are going to take it off so that is why i'm shading it because we don't need it so now it's time for me to connect my armhole princess dart. So for the armhole princess dart, I'll be taking the measurement of what I have on the armhole. And I have 10 inches. So half of 10 inches here is 5 inches. But I like coming down by 1 inch after the midpoint to have a beautiful curve of my princess dart. So at this point, I'm going to position my rule to touch the one inch, the bust point, the one inch, and the, and the half, the princess line. So you can see how I'm positioning it right now. Once I get to the armhole, I'll come out by one inch to recreate my new armhole line to accommodate the princess that. Can you see? I've recreated that. So now I'm going to take the measurement of my waistline, waistline, okay? From the center front, my waistline divide, my waist circumference is 36 divided by 4. I have 9 inches. This is my 9 inches mark. But I'm going to take the measurement of what I have in here for my dart, and I'm going to replace the 1.5 inch I have for the dart. And this is the replacement of that 1 inch dart. So now I'm going to connect my waistline all the way to my bust circumference divide by 4. So I took the measurement of my bust circumference from the center front. My bust circumference is 10, uh, 40 divided by 4. This is the 10 inches. So you can see I've closed up the part of these bodies. And this remains the center front. So now it's time for us to create the cape, which is the main business of this tutorial. So to create this cape, cape right now, I'm going to come down from the shoulder uh, slant. So this is the shoulder seam line. I will angle my ruler in this position. Can you see how I'm angling it? I'll come down by 1.5. So at that point of 1.5, I'll have to take the measurement to be sure I have 1.5 at that point. So at the 1.5, I'm going to come from the center front line again. You know I have 3 inches already here as the natural neckline. I'll come down again by another 3 inches. And at that point of 3 inches now, I'm going to connect that line. I'm connecting it this way to the 1.5. Can you see? So I'm connecting to the 1.5. Okay, so but if you want to come down a little, you can come down. Maybe we might come down a little to have a beautiful curve there. Instead of taking 3 inches, we can come down by 4 inches. But as you are coming down, remember the bus pan remains here okay so if i have my bust radius that is where my bust is going to sit i want to see if the cape will be affected will show my bust so this is the seven inches is not showing this is my bust and my bust is far away about 1.5 far away from the point position of the cape so now i'm going to position this cape I need a beautiful curve in there. At this point, you need to be creative. Okay, you need to be creative. So you can see I've drawn the line connecting it to the 1.5. Okay, so now I have this cape. Okay, so I'm going to extend this cape also to the bottom line because that is where we have the cape. The actual position of this cape is at the bottom line. Okay, so I'm going to make a little extension. 
okay so i need to extend the line okay so you have something like this okay so you just blend in the lines okay now the next thing we want to do now is to move away from the natural neckline we are going to move away by 1.5 and this is the 1.5 and i'm going to connect this 1.5 all the way to this point okay so i'll be using this part of my curve rule okay like i said i really need the curve the curvy all right people so now i'm changing my curve rule because i really want to have that curve the way it is on that picture so i'm connecting from this point right now i'm connecting it all the way to the 1.5 cape okay so this is our cape right now you can see the cape okay so now we have the last button the last button is going to be it's supposed to be on this part anyway okay this button should be positioned in here all right but there's no problem about that at least you know there is a button there so now we are going to create the bust that okay so to create the bust that right now i'm going to step down from the bust point i have a bust difference of the front and back length by of two inches and i'll find the midpoint so make sure you watch the video okay if you don't watch the video you'll be blaming yourself okay because what we are doing in here you need that video to the basic bodies video for clarification okay to help you understand what we are doing in here so this is my boss that but if you've been following my video, I know you are familiar with what we are doing right here. So you can see my boss that right now and the accommodation of the boss that. So now we are done with the front bodies right now. This is what we are, you are expected to have on the front bodies. But I'm going to trace this cape out right away. Okay. I'm going to trace it out because we want to cut off. But before I trace out okay okay let me trace it out that is very important all right so you can see i placed a paper below and i want to trace out with my tracing wheel so i will trace this cape out this way to this point and i'm going to trace it out from this part to this point okay so i'll take away my pepper and i'm going to cut out my cake i'm cutting out my cake following the tracing parts okay all right so i have my front cape so this is my front cape my front cape and i'm going to cut two times of this cape so now we want to talk about the back bodies right now because we this is my back bodies and i'm going to make use of these back bodies okay this is my body sloper i'm making use of so now I'm going to use it to create my cape. So you know how to draft it. Like I said, on the description box, you are going to get a link to how to draft your basic bodies front and back. Please make sure you watch it. The concentration of this tutorial is on the cape. So now this is my natural neckline for the back. And I want you to know that this is on fold. Okay, so this part okay this is not on full sorry it's the back part okay so you, you are going to cut two times of this part it's not on full 
So let me, is the cape that, that the cape is going to be on foot. But before we do that, let me take the cape. You know from, we came in from the natural neckline for the front, okay? So what I mean is this. This is the front part. We came in from here to here by 1.5 inches. So I'm going to also come in from here, the natural neckline for the back by 1.5. So at this 1.5, that is where I'm going to have my cape. But this cape right now, I'm going to blend it. Maybe I'll just come down by, let me say, half an inch okay because you know the back is usually high so i'm coming in by half an inch and i'll just connect with my ruler for the cape at the back this way okay so remember this is 1.5 exactly what we took from the natural line for that so now i'm going to also place my pepper you know we came down i'm going to place my paper here so when you are drafting please don't cut off okay so you can have this done instead of putting a paper below as i'm doing right now it's just because i'm making use of my body sloper the i have already so i don't want to go you know drafting another back bodies for this so what i'm going to do now is to fuse this pepper in here can you see what am i trying to do remember we angled this part okay at about 45 degrees we angle this part so we are also going to angle this part as well so now i'll be taking 1.5 as we did 1.5 so at the position of this 1.5, I'm going to step down. It depends on how big you want your cape to be at the back. So if you want the cape to really, you know, if you want a very bold cape, it all depends on you. That is for the back cape. It depends on what you actually want. So but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to come down from the center from the back uh, from the center back new neckline which i created i'm going to come down by four inch four inches so this four inches now i'm going to connect it for the back cape to be 1.5 so you can see i believe you're understanding this what we are talking in here so you can see how the back cape is going to be and i'm going to get a pepper to cut it on fold. so what i'm actually going to do now is this i'm going to trace out because i have the pepper under here already so i'll just trace it out i'm tracing out the back cape this is the back cape i'm tracing out right now okay and i'm tracing this way this way and I have this already so I'm going to take off this pattern right away and cut out my cape for the back okay so this is my cape for the back I want to make sure I have the the front the center front I was supposed to mark out the center front okay okay so this is the center front position i was supposed to mark it out so now i can cut out now i'm good to cut out so i'm cutting right away that is the back cape i'm cutting All right, so this back cape I have in here, I'm going to cut on fold. This is the center back 
I'm going to cut it on fold. So I'll be getting another paper now, fold it and cut the back. All right, so this is the back cape. And now I've folded my paper because it's going to be on fold. So I'll be placing this this way. Okay, that is the center center back okay so this part on fold i'm placing it this way and i'm going to trace it again because i need to cut out on fold so i'm cutting it out right away can you see that so now i have my cake so I'm going to cut, cut, cut on the traced line. for the back you can see how it is that is the back cape so i'm going to cut two times of it of this right now so this is the back cape the back cape and i'm going to cut two of this as well okay but i'm not placing it on fold I'm cutting two of this for the front part. Okay, this is the back piece. Okay, so I'm supposed to cut the front part. This is the front part of the cape. So I'm going to trace out the front cape. Okay, so this is the front cape right now. I'm tracing it out so I can have the two capes together okay okay all right people so i'm done cutting my cape right now this is the front cape and this is the cape i traced so this is the shoulder part. I'm going to indicate the shoulder part and I'll also write it here so I will know the part of the shoulder for this cape. So one of these capes right now is going to overlap each other. So this is the shoulder cape. One is going to go in this way Why this other one will be this way. Okay, exactly as, as you see on the screen. So now the, these are the front capes front cape front cape so the two front capes are ready and this is the back cape okay so now i'm going to fuse them together i'll be placing my paper again to fuse my cape can you see so this part is going to the shoulder shoulder part shoulder for the front and shoulder for the back the two shoulder capes so now for these two shoulder caves, I'm going to fuse my pepper to match them together before you cut the cape. So you are cutting this cape in one piece. Okay, so that is why I'm fusing them together because they are going to cut it in one piece before you join the neckline. So I'm fusing this together, shoulder to shoulder. Can you see that? Shoulder to shoulder. So now I'm going to blend up what I have in here. I'm going to blend it. Okay? So you just blend it nicely. Okay? All right. So I have to hold it on very firmly. So
so I'm cutting on the blended line then I'll cut through the neckline okay so now I'll do the same thing over here I'm going to fuse shoulder to shoulder the shoulder part of the cape I'm going to fuse the both together so like this I fused it I bring this one I'll also fuse it make sure you fuse the shoulder parts very firmly so this other part I'm going to okay so you can see that so what i'm going to do now is to do the same thing i did that other way by blending the cape so i'll also cut that part out all right people so this is what we have for our cape okay so we'll be fusing this cape to the bodies this way sewing it exactly on the neckline can you see so once it's sewn on the neckline you know one of them crosses each other and this is what you are going to have okay so this is going to be the part at which the button of the cape that is the button of the cape overlaps okay so we have the button at this point and we have a pressing button holding it on here okay so what you'll be doing is to add your 0 0.5 seam allowance all through then this is the body's front okay so the body's front right now this is the cape for the body's front so you can see I'm placing the part of the shoulder can you see on this line can you see so you can see the cape so while this other one this is the back cape when you fix on your uh, out your fab your clothes okay on your dress you see what I'm talking about so once you fuse this this part is going to lie this way why this part lies this way okay so this is what you'll be having at the end of the day this part is going to go in this part to be at this point so i believe you understand the demonstration of this case so once you cut on fabric everything will form okay everything will form so you just have it sitting exactly the way you want it so now I'm going to cut off the bodies. I'm going to cut, cut, cut right now. Okay, so I'm cutting through this neckline. That is the part I'm cutting off. Then I'll be cutting. Remember, we are not cutting this part. This is the part of the cape. I'm cutting through the bodies okay the princess that part okay so I'll cut off the that the unwanted that I will cut through my that accommodation. So I'm going to close up my boss that right away. All 
right so people this is what you have for the front and you are going to cut two times of this and two times of this and this is the cape all right people so this is the front part of this cape dress dress can you see it so that is how you are going to cut two times of it two times of it and please add your button allowance okay remember you need to put add one inch one inch one inch for your button allowance okay so what i mean is this let me just show you what i mean so as you cut it out before you cut on your fabric you are going to add your button allowance so let me quickly add the button allowance so i'll be adding one inch one inch one inch okay so this is what you are going to have here as a button allowance okay so you keep this part straight so now i'm going to cut 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 okay so you can see this is the front part of this dress and this is the back part of the dress so this back part of the dress remember i'm using my body sloper so i'm going to cut off here i'm going to cut this part off okay so let me pretend as if i cut it off so this is what you are going to have for the back cape okay so now i'm going to place this back back cape shoulder to shoulder to show you how the cape okay so this is the cape and this is the shoulder to shoulder part so the cape will be fused in this way can you see you can see how it's lapping exactly okay so once you sew on this on this part and turn you will have exactly that cape okay so on this part you can also decide to you know round the tops just to smoothen at this time you can smoothen up your cape maybe placing a paper below and smooth smoothen out the cape so what i mean is this you can decide to place a paper below the cape this way and round up your cape okay as in round it up this way but making sure it matches okay so you can have that side you know smoothing out then you can cut out okay all right people so this is how we come to the end of this tutorial i believe you enjoy this content so if you enjoy this content please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week share to friends and family drop your comments on the comment section and suggestions as well okay thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial see you in the next video bye